Kyle here from Real Fun Stuff. We got another video in the book today for you. We're gonna teach you how to curb nudge. You know what? It's an important tool that you need to learn how to do. We have steps today to learn how to curb nudge. And three easy steps. First step is the ninja kick. Second, smush the bug. Third, de-weight. So let's get your board going. And let's put all those tricks together. Ninja kick, smush the bug, do weight. With a ninja kick, you wanna pretty much just come up to the curb like you're about to do a karate ninja kick, but obviously stay on the board. And from there, when you're smushing the bug, that process is gonna be a lot harder and quicker than you initially are thinking. So really, really wanna smush that down and forward. And when you're doing that, use a lot of this muscle in your thigh. And uh, yeah, very quick, let's get it going. Ninja kick. With the ninja kick, it's exactly how it sounds. You're approaching the curb in that sense. And when you're smushing the bug, you're pretty much just picturing a bug right there. You want to smush it with your foot as hard and as forward as possible. That very quickly. Very, very quick motion. And de-weighting, it's pretty much just lifting up your body. As soon as that tire gets pulled up over the curb, you want to lift your body up to kind of assist the board and it'll pull you forward. fast that was it's a very quick motion uh, you have to do them very fast there's no hesitating between it um, a lot of mistakes people make is they're not doing it quick enough and they're not pushing down hard enough down and forward is very important down and forward the point of the ninja kick is to slow the board down to be able to get your nose up on that curb because if you're just riding straight and never do the ninja kick you're just gonna smush right into the curb so as you're coming up you start your ninja kick it brings that nose up and then that's when you slam down and forward and then de-weight and the board will even out. That's it, folks. That is it. We're heading to a whole bunch of different spots. Do nudges everywhere. We can nudge anything. Now that you have that trick and lock, you don't ever have to get off your board. No way. It's just as easy on a GT, if not easier. Once that tire grips on the curb, the extra torque of the board really just pulls it up. With the larger curbs you're gonna nudge, you really have to make sure you approach it with a lot more speed, really get that nose on there um, so the tire can grip on and climb up. Let's go. larger curbs you really have to make sure you get that ninja kick at the good timing um, when you ninja kick you're gonna get that nose all the way up the board will slide forward and that's when you do the slam down smush the bug go over and de-weight 
But with these bigger curves, it is especially important to go a lot faster, approach it a lot faster, and um, just make sure you slow down at the right time. A lot of people try to slow down too early, so you'll end up slowing down here, and it's a lot harder to uh, get that momentum to pull you up. So you want to slow down like right when the tire is approaching the curb. <laughs> three easy steps. There's the ninja kick. Go ahead and smush that bug on the ground and de-weight your body. That's it. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and give Real Fun Stuff a follow. And thank you to Real Fun Stuff for letting me step in and do a trick tutorial. Hope y'all get to nudging and uh, always staying on your board.